For this lesson, you will learn about the Globe Theatre, which was really a game changer in terms of the structure and staging of dramatic works. Far different from the ancient theatre space, which was contained in an open amphitheatre, the Globe was enclosed in a circular structure in which audience can watch the performances from nearly all sides of the stage. Although it didn't have a roof, the Globe had these covered scaffoldings which leveled the seating into three galleries, the upper, the middle, and then the lower gallery. Audience can enter and exit the galleries through these side towers and onto the courtyard where they can mingle and watch and even sit on stage as the play was being performed. And if it rained during the performances, the audience could take cover underneath the scaffold. The stage itself stood at one end of the yard, five feet above the ground, and supported by this covered presenting march. Under which the actors can perform their scenes. The backstage was where the, all the props and costumes were stored. And the actors can slip on stage through the side wings and were separated from the audience through what they call the fronskinis or house walls. When you study these parts of the stage, imagine how a Shakespearean drama would be performed when the actors would speak their lines and where the audience is visibly present will react. That way you can think about how the structure impacts the play.